we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. So what's your background? Why money? Well, um, my background actually was IT. Oh. Then recently marketing. Okay. So I don't have a background in uh, finance. At all? If anything, yeah. um, I, 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 I had a bad experience in accounting. Back in high school, you remember, mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a, a class you get and you have to select a, a yeah. more of a career subject, yeah. economics, agriculture. Mm -hmm. So something led me to pick accounting, which I regretted because uh, the teacher didn't like my face. <laughs> and, Why? And uh, I remember he, he, he used to come, let's say you've done a, a cut. Mm -hmm. And he would read out results based uh, on the lowest, from the lowest to the highest. Okay. So he always made sure I was top five <laughs> from below. <laughs> from below. Yeah. But this particular time he came and mm -hmm. uh, guys below 20, I was not there. Guys below 30, I was not there. Mm -hmm. All the way to around 60. Mm -hmm. and then guys are looking at me wondering, so you haven't got any of paper. So how could you have gotten more than that? Mm -hmm. Only for him to get to 80, he had a very weird, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a very weird way of speaking. And then he was reading the uh -huh. papers, and he was like, "Emos wa shira gaho, eight at two." And then guys were like, "Okay, so what's happening?" Only uh -huh. to get midway, and he was like, "Oh my God, no, 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 it's 28, <laughs> not 82." <laughs> That's actually part of what I put in my book. Uh, so mm -hmm. I, I didn't like accounting. That was based on the teacher. But over time, um, mm. I have learned so many lessons. And I feel like um, based on that, because my background has not really been, uh, I'm not from a wealthy uh, family. Okay. So I have seen a lot of mistakes. I've been seen people make uh, good decisions. Mm. So I decided why not uh, venture into this area? Because okay. for me, I believe it's a calling. So you believe it's a calling, yeah. but you're, so you studied ICT, then marketing. So why finance mm -hmm. and not, say, for example, fashion? Like, how do you get to a place <laughs> where <laughs> you decide, you're like, I think this is it. This is, this is the path I'm supposed to take with my life. Yeah. What was that validation for you? The talk of fashion, I actually used to be a model back then okay. when I had abs. <laughs> And I made a couple of uh, 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 couple of deals okay. back then. Mm -hmm. But however, um, also when I when I got I, I got a job in a sales in a sales company, and I would relate with customers who probably uh, get a product, but over time could not afford. Ah. So we were having this conversation, and I realized that when someone comes back to you and they were like, the advice you gave me worked mm -hmm. for me, so it became like a motivation. To a point where by now um, I was actually influencing the team to you know to use such a strategy, and I actually got promoted with no papers and got into a management position mm. because of the same influence. So, okay. but over time, so it became a passion. Yeah. Plus, much later, I also went through a lot of financial crises. So, also finding my way out. Okay. Was also part of a story that I would share with people. They would relate, and then they would they would uh, they, they would find a solution as well. So what? Tell me about the financial crisis you went through. Hey, it's quite a number. I mean, <laughs> I mean, from starting uh, from high school, I was a disappointment to my father. Going to high school with an A and coming out with a C plus. <laughs> uh, part of it was the accounting yeah. bit, of course. Mm -hmm. And and uh, you you are in a in, in a middle income uh, family. family. Mm -hmm. uh, your father's income, who's the main breadwinner, is not uh, regular, so mm. you have to supplement. Okay. So, deed construction, you know, not as an engineer, mm -hmm. but uh, as, as as a handyman, you know, you 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 you're helping, you get doing odd jobs, okay. and uh, that's when you you learn to hustle early and 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 just see what you can be able to do within your abilities. Then I worked for my dad, servicing and repairing fire extinguishers. Okay. Uh, so I've I've done quite a couple of things, selling shoes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. This is a period after high school. This is a period after high school. Oh wow! And you know, it's, times are different right now. Uh, someone will clear high school and open an account. They go viral and yeah. they're making money online. Yeah. So, but then it was different. It was it was quite a hassle. So mm. those are some of the tips, and and sometimes I attribute it to my dad because he was he's been able to, at that age, mm -hmm. to help us. You know, tell you that things are tough. Mm -hmm. Go do find something to do and. We ended up being here, you know, so it, it, it's been tough. And then at some point we lost money in, in business and you had to recover, you had to scale down, you know. So business is not, not always a straight line. Mm -hmm. So in those lessons, those are the lessons that I find valuable because everybody's going through something, mm. you know. And when you share, someone feels encouraged and they understand it's a season. Yeah. yeah.